It has been described as looking like a half-eaten fantail, so there you go. But anyway, yes, I am at Suncorp Stadium, the Cauldron, Brisbane, Game 2 tonight. The Blues up against the Maroons. But let's talk a bit of cricket first. In Australia, well, they've pulled off a miracle win over there in the UK. Edge Baston. They beat England by two wickets in the first Ashes Test. Captain Pat Cummins was the hero of the final uh, on the final belt, scoring an unbeaten 44 in a ninth wicket partnership of 55 with Nathan Lyon, who scored himself 16 very valuable runs. Well done, Aussie. We are one nil up in the Ashes Test Series. Let's talk rugby league. We're 12 hours away from kickoff for Origin 2, and Queensland coach Billy Slater may still have a surprise or two up his sleeve. The Maroons are considering a forward reshuffle in which Tom Flegler and Reuben Cotter may be promoted to the starting side, looking more likely than not, dropping Jeremiah Nanai to the bench. The Western Bulldogs' worst fears have been realised with star defender Liam Jones expected to miss the rest of the regular season. Jones could miss up to 10 weeks after undergoing surgery on his arm, which was broken in two places during Sunday's clash with North Melbourne. It's a big, big blow for the Dogs. They're currently sitting seventh on the ladder heading into the bye week. This is, of course, Suncorp Stadium. And we are heading into the inner sanctum where the players will be in those moments before this massive, massive match tonight. This is where we will see the Maroons. They'll be warming up. They'll be getting those final preparations done, those chats, those getting fired up for what will be one of the biggest games of their lives. And here, it's where we find Darius Boyd. Hello, how are you going? G'day, Darius. 28 Origin Games. You are a superstar, my friend. Great to see you. What a game this is going to be tonight. The Blues, they're going to be up against it here, aren't they? Yeah, it's going to be a great game, obviously, back home at Suncorp for the Queenslanders. And... Um, they're always a tight game, you know, it's uh, exciting times, but I think hopefully Queensland get the job done. What's going through their minds, do you think? I know it's early in the day, but when they come in here, it's that final preparation, isn't it? It's, it's the chats, it's the, it's the well, they put, trying to get those last few moments in before they head out and try and do the job. Yeah, they all have their own personal preparation, listen to music, uh, getting strapped, getting all their you know, jerseys put on and whatnot, and then obviously Billy will have their final words, coaching staff, and then... It's ready to run out in front of this packed house. Yeah, yeah. It is the inner sanctum. It's quite quite cool being him, I must say. Uh, you tip tonight? Queensland by two. Queensland by two. There you go. Well, look, everyone's got to start somewhere, guys. Uh, and junior coaches make all the difference. We've got Lee Addison with me right here as well. G'day to you, Lee. Um, thanks so much for being with us. You've, okay. you've coached at, uh, well, junior level. You've also coached with the Panthers as well. Um, tell us what... Well, what, you're doing some, uh, some um, online uh, clinics as well, but uh, big game tonight. Yeah, and I feel that we're in the dressing room that's going to be celebrating tonight, I think, and um, I know you won't like to hear that with that scarf. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, you, you do coach the juniors. You've mm. coached a very special player. James Tedesco, yeah. you coached him in the junior ranks, right? Yeah, that's right, that's right. And I actually gave him a go at 5'8", which I know uh, the press are talking about as a potential move for him. And uh, uh, Freddie could do worse than throw him in there tonight, just if they're, if they're a few points behind, like I expect them to be. <laughs> hey, yeah, I'm, I'm picking up an accent there as well. Mm. Manchester, did, did we yeah, win the Ashes test? Yeah, but City won the treble, so it's OK. <laughs> <laughs> OK, um, who's your tip tonight? And also, t tell me about your clinics as well. All right, uh, Queensland 1-12. to um, Look, my clinics have gone up and down the eastern seaboard of this country. We've coached 3,000 kids in the last two and a half years and also done plenty in the UK as well. And we've got our 12th road show coming up that's going New South Wales, Queensland. Brilliant. Good stuff. We love what you do and you're doing yeah. it from the junior ranks where it all yeah. starts. Well, we've got to start somewhere, right? That's right. Um, thanks so much for being with us, Lee. Yeah, this is the Inner Sanctum, guys. Cue the music. Tina Turner. Well, this is where we walk out. This is where the music starts. This is where the game begins. They'll have those last preparations. <laughs> it all starts here. Thank you, guys. Well done. And we walk out onto the ground. The crowd erupts. Yes, the Maroons, the, the Blues. And I'm not allowed to run onto the ground. I've got to stay off the grass. So I'll go off this way. Hey, do not touch the grass. <laughs> the game's live and exclusive. Tell a line. Free. Woo! Series. Bring it on. Take it away. Do well, Alex. Yeah, nice work. work. They're very excited, Blues fan, yeah. isn't he? We rent a crowd for a breakfast TV this morning. <laughs> Love your work, Alex. Let's see where Timmy is now, out and about. 